Well, I've made a new progression now on my Tesla power cables I'm making for the R720. And this is custom made using new pins and connectors. The wires are used along with the sleeving, although the uh, heat shrink is obviously new. <laughs> um, but yeah, have some stuff in the works and apparently Smokey is up to something. What are you doing in here? <laughs> so the purpose of this change is a few different things. I want to make these nicer, but I also want to increase the compatibility. So it'd be hard to show. There we go. You'll see there's a little loop of wire in there. And I don't know what pins that's going from, but I'm doing that little loop between the two grounds to match the uh, official like Dell branded cables and how they're wired. Because there's a bit of a problem with how my old design is working and how it needs to be. I don't know what would happen with the old ones as I haven't tried it yet with the R730. Alrighty. So the R730, visually, if you didn't look very close, it practically looks the same. But there's a difference on these pins. And I don't have my meter handy, I'm not set up to test it, but uh, if memory serves correct, one of these is putting out negative three volts or something in that area. And that's kind of where this jumper comes into play because for whatever reason, the Dell one is uh, jumping that pin there. So down, down one on the left to the bottom right corner. And I did ask some people in the Serve the Homes forums and I forget what the explanation they gave was, but uh, I believe it had something to do with power sensing. So, I don't know. Uh, I just want to decide I need to make these match because the voltage outputs on this is not the same as the 12th gen models like the R720. So, let's see if we can put this back in here temporarily out of the way. There we go. So, yeah, that's where this new cable comes into play, which I forgot. I need to unplug you. And just get this out of here. This is one of the old ones. Although I accidentally botched this one and I put the double wide tab on the wrong end. So, whoops. And these are the ones where I'm splicing the wires together. There are, there are still splices in this because essentially I have three ground and three 12 volt. I'm going to four of each. So I have to make a little Y in here so I can get the wires I need on this end. But that does mean it's going to be a little more flexible in the middle. And I believe there are cables that are basically equivalent to this one with how Oh, I have this one wired where you're basically just tying two of the grounds together. Oh, that's the wrong end. You're tying two of the grounds together from this end. And then um, splitting off one of the 12, plus 12 volts to this end. And it should work. Like I said, I haven't tried this in an R730 yet, mostly because it's wired differently. But uh, this will be the better progression. Now it's wired more correctly. <laughs> like this is perfectly fine with 12th gen. Um, that server there, the, my top R720, that one's been running Tesla cards for over a year now using this cabling methodology. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about that change. And the other thing that sets me apart from a lot of the other cables I'm seeing that are trying to do the same thing I have is this is designed where it'll only go in one way. So the other cables are cheaper, but one way or another, mine are gonna be better 
from a design standpoint. They're going to be wired correctly and they're going to prevent you from plugging them in backwards. So this side is the side that has to go in the riser. Well, as you'll see, that ain't going to go in. The only way to uh, plug that in would be to shave tabs down, which is uh, what I had to do on this one because I screwed up and I put the wrong ends on the wrong side. But uh, yeah, I think I think this will be a good thing. The learning curve of crimping those ends and stuff, that was kind of a nightmare. I'm going to make a video dedicated to how to make one of these from scratch using new parts, but that's for a different day. In the meantime, this is going to be a little bit of testing. I'm going to uh, put this in this system and then I'm going to beat on that card and try to pull a fairly high power load just to make sure that I did a good enough job. Because really the biggest problem that I'm concerned about with making these focus is I'm a little worried that I didn't do a very good job crimping the connectors. Like I gave them a gentle tug and I looked at them real carefully and everything. So it should be good. Worst case scenario, I am considering the possibility of hitting them with just a little dab of solder. But there's not a lot of wire. I mean, when you strip the wire, it's like... Can't even focus. It's such a small amount. It's like just a tiny bit. It's not even like quarter of an inch. Like maybe an eighth of an inch. So we'll see. Plus I don't have the, you know, the official Molex branded crimp tool, but, um, yeah, I, I ruined, uh, <laughs> oh man, I, I ruined uh, 20 of these little pins trying to uh, get the crimps properly because I didn't understand what I was doing and I found instructions, but I may not have paid close enough attention to them, but, oh well, that was enough of a ramble, I suppose. I will be doing some follow-ups on this, and uh, thanks for watching.